Introduction to Folk Tales. What is a folk tale? It's an oral story passed down from generation to generations. Oral stories that were later written down may have some type of magic. Animals act like people. Good wins over evil and usually teaches some type of lesson, also known as a moral. Some folktale examples, the three little pigs, which many of you are familiar with, Hansel and Gretel, Goldilocks and the three bears, Town Mouse, Country Mouse, and Paul Bunyan. So these are some examples of folktales. So then we have some specific um, story. So these are fairy tales. So fairy tales have some type of magic, good versus evil, good wins in the end, mm -hmm. begins with once upon a time. So normally when you have a story that begins with once upon a time, it would be considered a fairy tale and ends with happily ever after. Tall tales. So tall tales are a little different. Tall tales are sometimes based on a real person. The main character is larger than life. It's usually funny. And it usually exaggerates. Um, and an example would be, can wrestle with a tornado. Can, can wrestle a tornado. Then we have fables. Fables are normally short stories. The characters are usually animals. Teaches a moral or a lesson. Aesop fables are the most well-known, and we'll be looking at some of his fables uh, later. And then we have um, Pourquoi Tales. Pourquoi Tales usually explains why something happened, usually in nature. How and why tales. So how and why something happened. Why tigers have stripes. How the leopard got his, its spots. Pourquoi means why in French. And then we have some trickster tales. One animal gets tricked by another. So normally we can see that with the, um, well, we'll be looking at stories that have that. One animal is usually lazy. Animals talk and act like people. Spiders and coyotes are popular tricksters. So do you know your folk tales? Let's see. So read the passage. What kind of folk tale is it? Fox wants to eat pig for dinner. Pig tells Fox he is too thin to eat and that Fox needs to fatten him up. Fox agrees because when he wants a fat pig. Fox cooks spaghetti and pancakes and cookies for pig. Fox cooks so much he is exhausted. Fox takes a nap while pig sneaks away. Pig is full and happy. So what kind of folk tale would this be? Hmm. If you said a trickster tale, you're right. Fox is tricking pig, but then he ended up too tired and he fell asleep. All right, let's read this one. Hare ch uh, challenges tortoise to a race. Hare knows he will win because he is the fastest animal around. But when he decides to take a nap, since he is so far ahead, tortoise takes the lead and wins the race. Hare learns that being fast is not always best. So what folk tale do you think this, what kind of folk tale do you think this is? If you said a fable, you are right. The, anim, the characters are animals and there is a lesson, a moral in this story. All right, let's read this one. Jack plants the magic beans. The seeds grow into a beanstalk that leads up to the clouds. When Jack climbs it, he finds a giant a magic harp, and a hen that lays golden eggs. What kind of folk tale do you think this is? If you said a fairy tale, you are right. Great job. All right. This one says, Bear says he can do anything. Brown Squirrel does not believe him and teases him. Bear gets angry and scratches his back, leaving stripes. Brown Squirrel is now Chipmunk, the striped one. So what kind of tale would this be? What kind of folk tale would this be? If you said a poor qua tale, you are correct. Mike Fink was a kennel boatman, kennel boatman 
on the Mississippi River. When he was two years old, he ran away from home because he hated to be inside. He was so strong he could wrestle a grizzly bear or an alligator. So think larger than life. What kind of folk tale would this be? Based on a real person. A tall tale. Great. 